The Honorable Reverend Jesse Jackson, I believe he's still here. Of course, he is, Your Honor. I think we all know an icon in the civil rights movement. Not just a witness to it, he is the personification of it. And in other circumstances, I think everybody would be happy to have their picture taken, maybe get an autograph. But in the context of this trial, we object to his presence in the public gallery inside the courtroom. We note that there is a jury assembly room capable of holding, depending on how we socially distance, several hundred people, where these proceedings are being televised live in real time. The issue that Ray brought up previously is how many pastors does the Arbery family have? We had the Reverend Al Sharpton here earlier, last week, and I'm not keeping track. And I think the court has indicated the court doesn't intend to ask anyone to keep track of who was in the gallery. We are concerned about whether it's conscious or unconscious, the impact of their presence with respect to the jury and with respect to the proceedings in this case. And I guess the next question is, which pastor is next? Is Raphael Warnock going to be the next person appearing this afternoon? We don't know. Your Honor, I would submit, with all respect to the Reverend Jesse Jackson, that this is no different than bringing in police officers or uniformed prison guards in a small town where a young black man has been accused of assaulting a law enforcement officer or corrections officer. And again, we are concerned about our client's right to have a fair trial and the impact of the presence of these individuals is going to have on this case. And we are asking the court, and again, with all respect to the Honorable Reverend Jesse Jackson, that he be observing these proceedings from the jury assembly room where they are being streamed live, rather than sitting here in the courtroom where he can visually interact with the jurors in this case. Mr. Goff, at this point, I'm not exactly sure what you're doing. I have already ruled on this court's position with regard to the gallery. And with all candor, I was not even aware that Reverend Jackson was in the courtroom until you started your motion. I have indicated the court's position. The court's position hasn't changed. At this point, it's almost as if you're just trying to continue this for purposes other than just bringing it to the court's attention. I find that objectionable from the court standpoint. I have said over and over and over in this trial that I am attempting to ensure that in this courtroom that the defendants receive a fair trial. And I will continue to do that. I have heard the objection. I have ruled previously on my position with regard to the gallery, and that is unchanged. So then we start getting into what we have now with individual members or individuals coming into the courtroom. I will say that is directly in response, Mr. Goff, to statements you made, which I find reprehensible. The Colonel Sanders statement you made last week, I would suggest, may be something that has influenced what is going on here. In response to that, and to his credit, Mr. Sheffield made some comments, but did say, you know, come one, come all. And so now the court is faced with balancing a lot of things going on outside this courtroom and doing it in a way that respects members of the public's right to be in the courtroom, as well as what I'm trying to put out there is a fair trial. Right. So you need to understand, everybody, that your words in this courtroom have an impact on a lot of what's going on. And so my measured response at this point is to balance all of that out and try to move forward with the trial. I'm not granting a mistrial at this point. 